Purdue University, known to many as the cradle of astronauts. 22 Purdue College of Engineering graduates have gone on to become astronauts, including the late Neil Armstrong. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. These days, the same halls of the College of Engineering buildings are home to another group of engineers whose passion and knowledge continue to make giant leaps for mankind. It's not only just building a technology and doing the engineering, but it's doing so in a manner that we can share with other people. Purdue University created the EV Grand Prix, a collegiate competition where custom-built electric go-karts are put to the test in a 100-lap race. This annual race takes place at Purdue's own Grand Prix track in West Lafayette and at the famed Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We're using the EV Grand Prix and the concept of building electric go-karts as the basis for learning the technology. It's built on a smaller scale and then it's directly transferable to full-size vehicles, to industrial products. In 2009, Purdue University received a $6.1 million grant from the U.S. Department of Energy to develop degree and training programs for electric vehicles. One of the programs created was the EV Grand Prix. This event showcases students who have made it their mission to solve the problems with traditional gasoline-powered vehicles. Internal combustion engines are typically somewhere in the region of 20 to 30 percent efficient in most passenger vehicles, whereas in the go-kart, the whole system efficiency is closer to 80 or 90 percent. We're taking pure energy, electricity, and converting that to mechanical energy rather than, you know, extracting it from the ground, refining it, then breaking down that chemical energy through combustion. Students work year-round designing, building, and testing handmade batteries that power the electric go-karts. Top-of-the-line equipment and facilities allow these young engineers to take this technology to the next level. You can read a book all day long and learn the theory behind it, but not every day you can go into the lab and build it and practice it and test it. And Purdue really allows them to go forth and try these things. In 2012, 24 teams representing 10 universities, including two from England, competed in the EV Grand Prix at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The race is really to show off what we've been able to learn here at Purdue, what all of our classes have taught us. And it's also a great motivating fact to make us learn more above and beyond what we've learned in class. The opportunity to learn extends beyond the competitors. This race, which is open to the public, allows the viewing audience to become familiar with and understand this technology that is the future of automobiles. In developing a draw there and a passion that people have to come out and see those events and, and for it to be entertaining, but at the same time, for them to get familiar with the new technology, that's what's going to really drive people in the future. I think it will bring a big change to motorsports. That's what the Indy 500, as an example, was all about. How do we convince people that, that this car, this horseless carriage, so to speak, can make it 500 miles? We're going through this all over again and we're trying to convince the general public that electric vehicles are fast and they're very reliable. Shortly after the first EV Grand Prix took place, some engineering students formed Purdue's Electric Vehicle Club, a student organization that brings together like-minded students who all have an interest in embracing and developing electric vehicle technology. We've done a couple of motorcycles, electric skateboards, electric bikes on campus. It's great to see all these people come up with brilliant ideas and to have a group of like-minded individuals that are there with them to really uh, help them with those dreams. We're working with students to give them the knowledge so then they can go and make that next step in development, in new discovery, in research. Henry Ford started somewhere. And as we go forward with, with alternative energy vehicles and especially electrics, these are the students that will go forward and they are going to create these companies that make this all reality.